All right, so uh, I like the little board, so I thought I'd put it in a box. Um, and I, I have these boxes that I, I don't really know what to do much with. So it has a knob on the front, at least one, and it has a switch, which is great. Um, it's metal. And uh, the only thing that's missing would be a meter uh, to tell you how much voltage you have. Um, and I have a meter that I've had for decades and I've never <laughs> had a use for it, but I thought maybe this would just be a fun project to put it in. And, and that's this little meter here. <laughs> and uh, so it's, it's marked uh, zero, five, and one. So uh, I, think, I think this could be, instead of a milliamps DC, this will be kilovolt. So one kilovolt, half a kilovolt, and uh, we'll stick this somewhere, stick this some, maybe probably on the top, stick this somewhere on the, on the uh, thing and, and then over here. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be cute. <laughs> so let's see if this, this is a, a good project box or not. Uh, it's a good box or not. Let me open it up and see, uh, see if things will fit in there. All right, let me, uh, let me see if any of these are the right value. I mean, we can just use them. Um, this one is a 104, which is a uh, 100K. Um, so let's see if we can find a 104 down here. Let me take these knobs off. All right, let's measure these. This one's measuring. Oh, 100 ohms, 90 ohms. Okay, can't use that one. How about this one? Oops. This one is measuring 400 ohms. Okay, can't use that one. How about this one? Got three wires on it. Let's see here. Uh, 2.2K. Does it change when I move it? No. 2.2K. Okay, so I can't use these. Uh, can't use the ones that were in there. I'll have to find something else. I'll be should be able to use the knobs though. All right, I found a 100, 100K and kind of an old school knob for it, so that'll be cool. But it doesn't fit the hole. I think I want to put it over here. It doesn't fit the hole, so we need to make the hole bigger. And it's perfect size now. Excellent.
Take this one. Well, I got a 50-50 chance at this, so I'll just put them in. All right, guess strong. <laughs> so we will have to reverse those two leads. Fifty-fifty, except you always get it wrong. I guess that's Murphy, right? That's why we need six hands again. No. Oh, great. Do I remember which was which? <laughs> oh, no! I'm pretty sure this was the red one. So I want the red one on that side now. Anyway, this is how they were. Yeah. Watch, I'll get them backwards. Watch. All right, let's test it again. Yeah, let's give this one a try. There we go. So when I turn it clockwise, the voltage goes up. Yay. And, uh, Clockwise, it goes down. Very nice. All right, so I put some um, banana uh, jacks on the uh, on the front here, some binding posts, and uh, I have the switch wired up, and I have the board inserted and everything. I haven't had to drill any more holes. I used the holes that were already there. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's turn it on. And we can adjust the power. So yeah, uh, it's working good. So I think the next thing to do is maybe uh, wire up the meter. Uh, I think that'd be a fun thing to do. And get that working. Okay, we have a working thousand volt supply. Let's um, see if we can't make this cool little meter work. <laughs> So this meter, I zoom in, yeah. So it says milliamps DC and it's zero to one. So we're gonna make that zero to a thousand volts, okay? So how do we turn a milliamp meter into a volt meter, okay? So we know Ohm's law, volts equals current times resistance, right? So we want volts a thousand equal one milliamp times some resistor, okay? So Thousand times one milliamp equals resistance, which means 
a thousand divided by milliamp equals resistance. Okay, so what's a thousand? A thousand is 10 to the third. What's a milliamp? 10 to the minus third. So if you have 10 to the third divided by 10 to the minus third, you have 10 to the sixth. All right, everybody understand that one? <laughs> you can work it out on your calculator if you want to. Anyway, it's a megohm. <laughs> so uh, let's see if it works, okay? Let's see if our math is right. I've got too many things on the bench here. I've got to clean up. All right, uh, so we have a meter and I will use my favorite substitution box that I built. I have a video for that if you're interested. Alenco RS400, I like this box. Anyway, we will put it on one megohm. Uh, now I'm too close again, sorry. Uh, we'll put on a thousand K ohms. Okay, a thousand on the little switches over, a thousand K ohms. All right, so we will set this up here. We will connect that to the, I think the plus, right? Oh, I'm gonna get it backwards. Uh, where's the markings on this thing? I think that one's plus, I think. All right, and then we need one more clip lead. Let me find a clip lead. Okay, the clip lead over here. We'll put this on the negative. And we will, let's see, get something to hold this thing with here, a second. Okay, let's put that over here. Hang on to it. I'll arrange the camera a little bit. Move it over here. There we go. All right. So it is all hooked up. And let's turn on five volts. And then we can turn on our thousand volts. And we're measuring a little bit. And we will turn up the current. Ah, interesting. Ah, uh, this meter has loaded down our thousand volts. We can only get 400 volts out of it now. Um, hmm. Maybe this is not such a great, a great supply after all. How much current is, well, one milliamp, right? So it's taking half a milliamp. It only, it only allows us half a milliamp before it starts going bad. I guess that is quite a lot of current. Hmm. Maybe I need a microamp, uh, Microamp meter. Well, darn. That's interesting. So 400 volts. Does it say 400 here? No, it does not. It's a little bit low. So we would need to have a, a resistor tweak because this is going to have some burden voltage to it. Um, but we're right at 400 volts now, according to my, my other meter. Um, and we're measuring, we're measuring low. We're measuring about 350 on this meter. Hmm. Well, I didn't anticipate that. I did not anticipate that. So, yes, yeah, so if we go too far, the, the DC to DC converter just wax out. I mean, it's still kind of nice. At one milliamp, we can get 400 volts. That's, that's still pretty good. Usually when I test capacitors, I don't ever go above 400, I don't think. So it's still usable up to that. Hmm. But it does seem silly that the only thing the power supply now is doing is driving a meter. <laughs> it's not doing much else. So if I, if I get this thing to put out the 400 volts, and then let's watch this. We'll watch this meter over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to disconnect the meter and we'll see if the, that goes up. Boom, it goes up to 1,000 volts. <laughs> yeah, the meter's, meter's loading it way down. The meter's loading it way down. All right, so the 1,000 volt, you only get 1,000 volts at very, very low currents. So, uh, yeah, okay. Maybe Alan's got the right idea. <laughs> His supply is really meant to power radio circuits and stuff like that. It's gonna output a lot of current, um, so it's much more probably much more useful, but if you just want to test 
leaky capacitors, this one would be just fine. So I'm still going to, I'm still going to finish it up. Uh, I'm just not going to have a meter, I guess. Uh, or I could have a, um, um, a high current, a high, um, uh, a, a, a high impedance. So this is working, right? So, so this is, this is, this is drawing some current, right? So this, uh, full scale is 60 microamps. Yeah. This, um, this meter is 60 microamps. Okay. So if we do the math, okay. A thousand volts at uh, 60 microamps, 60 micro, oops, 60, 60 micros is 16 megohms. So this has 16.6666 megohm uh, input um, at this high, high range here instead of one megohm. So, hmm. There you go. I'll look around for a nice little cute meter that is a maybe a hundred microamp meter, you know, 10 times better, uh, something like that. Um, and uh, it's too bad. So I still haven't found a use for this meter, darn it. <laughs> I still haven't found a use. Uh, okay, I'm going to call this project complete for now. Um, I have the switch on it, I have the output. Uh, I put a uh, uh, power connector on the back for five volts and uh, all we need now to do is put the little top on. Put the little top on. <laughs> Come on. Can't be that difficult. All right, there we go. Got to have the label. Danger. Uh, safety third. And uh, reminds me to put five volts into it. There we go, because uh, a couple months from now, I'm going to say, how many, did I need 12 volts in it? <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. I think I'll, I think I'll uh, automatically know that's on and that's off, so I won't, I won't label that one. <laughs>